Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we will be discussing about the most important substances that we use in our everyday life. That is rubber and paper. So friends, if I talk about rubber, we say that rubber is a natural substance. It is a natural substance as it is obtained from nature. But from where do we obtain rubber? Yes, rubber is obtained from something called as latex. Now, this latex is obtained from a tree which is named as Hevea brasiliensis. What is the name? Hevea brasiliensis, which is commonly called as the rubber tree. So, what is the botanical name of rubber tree? Yes, it is Hevea brasiliensis, exactly. This tree is abundantly found in Brazil. But friends, do you know where does the maximum production of rubber in India take place? Yes, it is in the state of Kerala. Now friends, as we know, there are different varieties of rubber. But rubber can be broadly classified into natural rubber and synthetic rubber. But from where do we get this natural rubber, friends? Natural rubber is obtained from gum or sap of trees. Now friends, when you cut the bark of a tree, you observe that there is a white liquid which oozes out. This white liquid is called latex from which you obtain the natural rubber. This natural rubber is white in color and has a peculiar odor. But friends, this raw state of rubber is not of much use. But why is it so? This is because at cold temperature, rubber freezes and becomes brittle. And therefore, it breaks easily. On the other hand, at high temperature, rubber melts down. So, it is very important to convert this rubber into more useful form. And this was discovered by an American inventor named Charles Goodyear. Charles Goodyear discovered rubber accidentally when he spilled a mixture of rubber and sulfur on a burning stove. He observed that rubber was converted into a black, much harder and less elastic substance. And this led to the discovery of vulcanization of rubber. This black and hard rubber was now used for making hard and tough tires, which eventually led to a revolutionary change in transportation. But friends, what is this process of vulcanization of rubber? Let's discuss it in detail. In this process, some amount of sulfur is added to rubber. Now, this mixture is heated for about three to four hours. Now, as you can see over here, due to heating, there is cross-linking of polyisoprene chains through disulfide bonds. These disulfide bonds make the rubber much harder and less elastic. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.